Welcome to Amazing Animal Facts with Zujin. I'm Zujin. On this show, I get surprised by an awesome animal, and then I have. On this show, I get surprised by an. On this show, I get surprised by an awesome animal, and. And then I share some interesting facts about them while I try to keep it together because I prefer animals over humans. Animals, don't look at me and say, go back to where you came from. <laughs> oh <my God>. oh. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to keep this kid friendly. Amazing animal facts with Suji. He's gonna meet an animal and learn about it and try to tell you facts while it gets distracted. Amazing animal facts with Suji. You're watching the Try Guys. Make sure you're subbed for videos every Wednesday to Saturday. And get the merch at tryguys.com only on Try Guys. You guys get that reference, right? Right. Oh God, my mind's racing. What could it be? Did you put a table down? Is this gonna, is this an animal on a table? People often ask, Eugene, why do you love animals so much? I have always preferred animals. Cause you know, animals are like, if God took a paintbrush and was an artist, you know, he was just like, here's a turtle. And here's an ostrich. For the people, he just did lots of drugs and then just took a big old dump on the canvas. That's what he did with humans. He was he was not in his right mind. Okay, no big movements. So Zujin rule is no big movements or sounds when we meet an animal. Ah, oh my God, the anticipation is killing me. I can open my eyes. How do you work every day and not just want to hold and hug this monkey constantly? I know her bad side too, so. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to look at her in the eye because it could be a challenge. <laughs> this whole video could just be listening to this monkey. Yes, I agree. <laughs> You are very beautiful. What's her name? <laughs> her name is Tess. Hi, Tess. And what's your name? My name is Nerissa. She's a white-faced capuchin monkey. Mm -hmm. Also called a white-throated capuchin monkey. And the monkey that was on Friends? Uh-huh, same yes. type. Clap, 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 clap. Can you stop? Turn around. I'm gonna come on the same side as you. Tess is staring at me and I know I'm not supposed to look at her it's directly. Okay. She'll, she'll get over it. As long as you ignore her for a little while, she'll stop. It's just like She's just parents. testing you right now to see if you're gonna challenge her. Have you ever been to a, like an Asian household for the first time? Just like, <laughs> just bow. She's sitting like a lady. What is she doing? I wouldn't say that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, she seemed like a lady. <laughs> I, thought she, I thought her tail was her other leg. I thought she had them crossed. She had them wide open. Tess, you are beautiful. No, oh, no, no, no. Leave it alone. <laughs> they don't want that kind of show. <laughs> She's really sizing me up. Mm -hmm. Monkeys or primates in general are all about hierarchy. And um, she's a mature monkey, so she either needs to know she's gonna be above you mm -hmm. or below you. Right now, they always wanna be above you. So, so I, they, I gotta make myself her sub. It's yep. all about what they want and nothing to do with what you want. <laughs> oh, so I am her sub. I'm her dirty little sub. So in this situation, the monkey spanks me. <laughs> I hope not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, this is a kid show. Should I say fact? I'll say fact. Did you know monkeys are found almost everywhere on Earth except for Australia and Antarctica? I didn't know they weren't in Australia. Well, they've got enough animals to deal with. <laughs> She's so cute. She's very vocal. She's very vocal. No, no cereal for you today. So you can just tell what her mood is just big. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, out. they express themselves completely outward. They don't hold any feelings back. This is her just kind of chattering. Yeah. When she's upset, it's loud. Can you stop? <gasps> what a treat. What are those stop. treats? That's actually a fruit gummy. She eats fruit gummies. She would eat all sorts of junk if I let her. They like sweets, they're kind of like little kids. But a cute kid. Cute kid that can bite really badly. 
your teeth are much sharper. This type of monkey is diurnal, which is opposite of nocturnal, which means it finds food during the day and sleeps at night. I you offer her that. Oh, okay. Do I hold it in an open palm? Yeah. It's my first time giving a fruit gummy to a capuchin monkey. Test. Good girl. She's like, bitch, where's the gummies? <laughs> You're doing perfect. Oh. She's like, oh, your lifeline is, is very long, but your heart line, we think you don't worth learn on that being more open in relationships. So not all primates are monkeys, but all monkeys are primates. That's just like, not all terrible people are racists, but all racists are terrible people. She agrees. I feel like I'm on a first date. <laughs> it's like, play cool. Don't look at her directly yet. Did you know that monkeys use grooming to strengthen relationships? Actually, I do that too. My best friends are my hairstylist. She's touching my butt. <laughs> Guest Tess, she's waiting for a treat. She's kind of half wanting a treat and half wanting to know if she should like you or not. She's not sure. In spider and howler monkeys, the tail is long, making up a sizable portion of their total body weight. Capuchins, by contrast, that's you, Tess have an unremarkable tail size. That's <laughs> freaking rude. <laughs> I'm sorry, our amazing researcher did not know our star today would be a capuchin. You are very remarkable, Tess. That is a big tail. See, she's using her tail right now. That's to prehensile. Is this what being a parent of a newborn human baby is like? Because I feel so much love for this creature. And capuchin monkeys are probably the smartest monkey, but they're definitely all about their hierarchy. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it's all about her. That is my, my banana. <laughs> Thank you, Tess. Stop holding that. <laughs> it's an easy handle. Monkeys are omnivorous and they eat fruit, lizards, nuts, insects, and small birds. You can eat a small bird, Tess? She can catch it out of the air. Uh-huh. And then she rips it apart to eat it. <sighs> we just go to KFC. <laughs> She's gonna climb up on your shoulder. You okay with that? <gasps> you wanna come up? Sure. Very likely to push your hat off. It's okay. So you're ready. So capuchin monkeys got their names from the capuchin friars in Italy. These friars wore a head covering or cowl that looks a lot like the black fur cap on the head of this capuchin monkey. So you're Catholic. She's like, I'm Buddhist. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Excuse me. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> She's, are you finding the gray hairs? Ow! <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's it's no. It's nothing. I haven't. I, I've been through much worse. Oh. Okay. 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 Now. She give me a nice little, nice little choke right now. I'm like her doggy. There it goes. Do you want me on the head? Oh, she's grooming me. What are you finding? Or you just have something good in there? Oh, possibly. My hair is like a nest. It's full of secrets. I've raised her since she was two. It's okay. And she's now 22. Mm -hmm. Finally leaving my fantasy of being preened for insects by a monkey. Actually, I'm perfect for monkeys. What are you finding, Tess? Anything delicious? I'm just really enjoying this moment. Wanna come over? She was like, oh, we gotta do something with this hair. <laughs> this style isn't working for your face shape. Oh, another capuchin fact. White-faced capuchins communicate with one another using chirps, barks, and whistles. Right, Tess? <laughs> oh, now she's quiet. <laughs> I love that move. I think I should get my germs off of it. Very COVID safe. <laughs> Howler monkeys have one of the loudest calls of any land mammal. Humans can hear a howler monkey's call from a distance of three miles. Damn, that's a loud ass monkey. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, she wants to play with me. Stop. Tess, tell the audience uh, mm -hmm. uh, a final departing message. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, this has been incredible. Thank you so much Absolutely. for bringing Tess, My this pleasure. amazing, dom, gorgeous creature. Right, Tess?
Is she looking at me like I'm stupid? Yeah. <laughs> yes, she is. She's like, I know what you're doing. What are you doing? Stop mocking me. Well, until next time, be kind to one and wait, what was my catchphrase? Amazing animal facts with Sujini. Met an animal and learned about it. It told us facts so they got distracted. This has been Tess's Red Room. <laughs>